Hello, YouTubers. This is a new session where my friend, my brother, Etienne, and I here, you know, are, are back to talk a little bit about, you know, building a, a software, building a game in Unity, you know, according to the standard. And in the last time we were hanging out, you know, we talked a little bit about building base components or the equivalent of a base component. It's basically a, a primitive component. It doesn't have a lot of intelligence in it. It's just a simple... Uh, UI with just very, very tiny bit of, you know, uh, C sharp code behind it to just allow higher order components to kind of communicate with it and be a part of a bigger system, uh, like a game or an enterprise system, or whatever the case may be. And uh, as usual, my dear friend Etienne, how are you doing, brother? I'm doing good, man. Thanks. I kind of bailed on you last time, huh? Doing? No worries. I on you? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Today we can have a double session. Yeah, let's do it. That's, <laughs> that's how it, that's how we make it up, right? So so here's here's the thing. I found out the so if, just for the people who are wondering, like you know, want to keep track, you know, and gonna keep keep with us. Uh, I'll go real quick to let's see here. If you go to, I switched the appearance in my. Um, I was pushing a new some new additional details to the standard. And I switched to this light mode just to make sure the pictures are rendering properly on both sides. Oh, yeah. And then I I forgot to kind of no, not this one. Where is it? Yeah, this one right here. Okay, perfect. Let's go back to uh, this. And rock steady go. There it is. So this is this is our uh, uh, system. You know, you have the design and yeah. architecture. We talked about all these details. You know, and we started building just the the player base component, right? And you went and and you went and pushed the rest of them. And I I'm looking at the I'm looking at the code in here. It's crazy how much stuff getting kind of generated in the process yeah. of. It's a lot of things. Like I'm looking at well, not a lot of things, but so many different things that kind of makes the project structure a little bit more interesting. You know, like for instance, yeah. I see here the Text mesh pro, the scenes, all of that. Are these things readable? Oh, they're just basically like configurations. It's, oh, it's, uh... and they're they're using the um, they're using the Hungarian notations. Look at this. This is all I think yeah. that's Hungarian notation, if I'm not mistaken. Hungarian notations sharp. Am I wrong? Let's see. Yep, that's it. Hungarian notations for you right there. I don't know. Maybe that's how no, the game. I'm not was. a big fan of it. Yeah, it's 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 really it's, weird. It's, I've seen it a lot in, in Unity's code, like Unity, their own code. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, and a, and, and lowercase public public um, properties and stuff. Yeah, I like I said um, to you, like it, it doesn't look like the. It doesn't seem like Unity as a as a as an engine was necessarily developed by necessarily like enterprise level standard engineers yeah. in, in any in any standard really not even just ours yeah but anyway okay so here's the deal so we have this player base maybe today we can do the turn the turn base component right and let me just tell you a little bit about what that's going to look like and see how we're going to evolve and develop that accordingly the the trick here, or the idea here, is to basically be able to go and say, "Here is here is draw IO." So the turn is supposed to be a component that every time you select, so the component has two states, either uh, focus or unfocus, right? So if it's mm -hmm. unfocused, it's just a simple component, just a simple rock, just sitting there. If it's focused, you know, we basically bring in like some sort of fire, a a a fire display on top of it, right? So, I'm, so it's, it's supposed to show, I don't know, a little bit of. Uh, let's see here. This is just the simplest way I can express this, but basically, we want to be able to go and say, okay, when it's this person's turn, we want some fire to, to kind of show up on top. To say that it's okay. this person's turn, so the component itself is not. It doesn't have the player name in it. It doesn't have anything. It just has a state that we switch back and forth, right? 
So that means that inside that component, you will have this player turn component, which is, so there's player component, right? And then there is player turn component, right? And then with this other player turn, it just kind of lights up this guy. And with that player turn, it lights up get this guy. Okay, interesting. Let's do it. Let's see what it looks like. It's all okay. yours now. You do that stuff. <laughs> I'll watch. Okay, let me share. I'm going to try and avoid huh. the infinite mirror thing. Yeah. <laughs> Don't open up a portal to infinity, please. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, yeah, so last time we created this, this player base component. Nice. Um, I do need to just understand more like, um, how it, how the how the turn so so let's think of it so if we so the turn base component will basically manage a state is that yes. it yes so it, it it could what we could do it no wait it doesn't manage a state there is a like an orchestration like component that will take care of that part right okay. so if you look at i'll take this back from you for a second you, you don't have to unshare it i can just switch screens you know because if you're sharing you're sharing right but let me let me go back to this real quick. So remember how we said we have player base component and turn base component. So we have turn component and player component. The guy that knows about the state and who should go where is something called player turn component. So see player and turn, and then there's player turn. This guy just renders the name. That's all it knows about. This guy just yeah. renders fire above. It doesn't know, yeah. like it really doesn't. It doesn't care and it doesn't know about, like it will come down to, like in your system design, it will come down to this piece. You basically have this player turn component in here, like the physical, the actual instances. So this is an instance view, yeah. right? This is player, yeah. player turn, right? And this player turn component in and of itself, there is two of them, two instances. And this guy mm -hmm. has two instances of turn, and player and this guy has the exact same thing so these are instances in memory that are running like this okay so we have one that's rendering hassan and one that's rendering etienne right what happens then these instances right they go upstream to another instance right that instance is called the match the match component the match component is 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 attached to something called called move block right so let's just put that up there so that you got your match component it goes and says every time there is a move block watch this okay i'm gonna try just kind of hint towards the other piece that is sitting in here which is the block movement block move right mm -hmm. every time a block moves this guy goes back and says hey a block has moved like a block has moved, like we okay. did an x Go ahead and okay. switch to this guy. Okay. And then because this guy knows it's this time, as soon as a block moves, be like, okay, who's not selected? Is it this guy? Let me go back here and select this guy. And so on and so forth. See how it's working? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Okay. It's very like how you're designing it, it's very broken. Yeah. Down, like really, really small. Yeah, it's a different it's it's definitely a different way of thinking for me as mm -hmm. well it's like i need to rewire my mind <laughs> yeah working in unity for many years <laughs> in a certain way by the way historically speaking what i saw people would do is that they say oh this player turn let's literally do this let's go and do here's how i see most of the applications or at least from my perspective right this is what i see they all jumble them up like this and they go and say, oh, this component does all the player stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and you're yeah. like, what are these player stuff? Yeah. They're like, oh, oh, it's hard to explain, dude. You know, we've been doing this for years. And I'm like, okay, but <laughs> what is it? <laughs> well, okay, you're going to need to see the documentation. Where's the documentation? Yeah. Oh, we don't have a documentation. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Okay, so, so if we look at... 
we look at player base, so this is the base component for players. So this only the only responsibility is to set the player's name, right? Yeah. And to set the, the text label. Yeah. On that component. So we will have the equivalent thing for turn base component. And all that will do for now we can maybe just show an image of a fire. Right. right. But so every every if I go back to Unity, so we'll have two players, right? Mm -hmm. uh, how do I turn on? Okay, I don't really see well. Sorry, man. Let me just. Yes. So that's two instances, uh, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So each will have its own indicator of the fire. And okay. this indicator just have on off, you know, it doesn't know anything. Yeah. It doesn't okay. know that it's a part of other bigger system, right? It just knows on off. That's it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Now, now the real question is, Etienne, where do we get fire from? Like if I want fire, like, like flames. <laughs> You we know, coming up. How do we do that? <laughs> Let's go to Unity's asset store. Uh, let's see, nice thing about the asset store is there's some free stuff as well. So this asset store is where you kind of download, you know, existing. Oh, that's beautiful. That's like the NuGet.org for gaming. Except for 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 Unity. Yeah. Nice. You, there's so much awesome stuff on this. Like nice. you can really. I like did people, yeah, yeah, people like make a living just of creating assets for Unity. Nice. <laughs> you know, nice. Instead of creating games, they just make stuff. Yeah. That people use. Yep. Tooling. So what are we looking for? Like uh, just just type flames. Okay. Uh. Mm. Check here. Uh. Uh, let's see yeah yeah look 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 flames of the phoenix go up by one the up 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 there it is do you see flames of the uh, phoenix. Three, yeah yeah let's take a look at it yeah. that's exactly what i want flames cool. click on that second uh, second page there it is yeah. flames yeah. it's your turn there it is exactly that <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Nice to add to my assets. Uh, oh my god, you have to agree. On... <laughs> yeah. It's ridiculous. He's gonna scroll. We'll we'll read through it. We'll read through it later. Afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, afterwards. We'll we'll give it to deep consider we'll give it to the legal team mm -hmm. to worry about yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, okay, so it just opens it up in Unity for you. Uh-huh. It's quite nice. Before, like in the old days, you mm -hmm. had Unity, you had a window inside of Unity that was the asset store. Right. And eventually they changed it. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I just need to sign in quickly. It's like it. Okay. Okay. So now it opens the package manager, which you can also find under window. Package. This is like the NuGet package manager in Visual Studio. Yep. For Unity. Um, okay. And How this we... is all. Oh, yeah. And yes. then here you can choose. Yeah. So my assets is everything under my name in the asset store that I've bought and downloaded. And my man. So once you get it once, it's in your library, like your Steam, mm -hmm. like your Steam library. It's always there. Exactly. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, I love that idea. We yeah. should have that in nougat.org. Like you could go, oh man, I love this idea. Yeah, check all I, this. I love this clash between different technologies, just seeing what, you know, what works. Oh, I love this idea. Okay, keep going. I'm listening. Yeah. Okay. And then the other cool thing as well is you can create your own. It's a bit of a, it took me a while to get figured out, but yeah. you can host your own packages. Almost like, right. like a nougat. You have to have right. your own little server and thing running. 
right um, for internal like especially for when you work on a team if you create tools and stuff that's only for your internal team you can have a you can host a, 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 a registry yeah that under your company name or whatever whenever yeah. someone comes you just tell them to add this registry to the project or whatever and then nice. you get all the tools um I just, want to check what just, just by doing this you just inspired a whole new idea you know oh my Is god it? you know just just my 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 nougat packages i need to go talk to the visual studio team about this this would be mm -hmm. fun okay so so what okay. happens to the fire <laughs> okay so i just want to get the name because i didn't oh. open it flames dude, you, you're, dude you're deep flames. into this you have this forever like you, all these libraries that yeah. you have some of the stuff here is like outdated and that i've <laughs> downloaded like 20 years ago <laughs> <laughs> and i can i can like maybe at, when we have time i can go through some of them and show like because there's a lot of awesome stuff that people make yes and it'll sir. be cool to like shout out some yeah you know just download it okay so it's in your account now it you creates, can download it yeah it okay. creates like a down, uh, local copy on your machine and then you can import, import it into any project yeah why is this re-download thing does anyone ever use it what's the point of it i don't know okay because it, it it will if, if there's a new version it will this will change to update. Uh, uh, yeah i don't know why re re-download maybe if it's corrupted or something but yeah then when you click import it will open this window and then okay. you, you can see everything it will add nice and the stru the folder structure and everything you can remove stuff here okay um that's but let's that's, just that's the stuff mm -hmm. that needs to stay in that base folder really that's hiding it. behind that base you know so if yeah. one day we go and say oh we found the better flames thing we don't change much just that because, folder yeah. yeah okay let's add it let's see what happens <laughs> i don't even know have you ever used this thing before <laughs> this flame no we'll see we'll see what it gives us <laughs> it looks nice though <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm i'm excited to see what's gonna come out. <laughs> this will be the title of our session you know etienne lights up unity into flames <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> i think that that's a good that's a good uh what do they call it clickbait yeah that, that's, <laughs> the, that's the thumbnail just flames <laughs> yeah unity burns in it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess, and I'll just it just added it into this root assets folder. Mm -hmm. so you can obviously drag it. Uh, I usually organize it into like plugins folder or whatever. Okay. Um, Let's just try it. Like today, it. we could just try it. You know, let's see what it works yeah. like. Frost, ghost. Good. What is that? Okay. So you just drag it. Uh, is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. So it uses a particle system. Which mm -hmm. is cool. This is like a built-in. Uh, let's let's try this. Which one do you want to try first? Let's do the the red one. Fire. And we want fire. Big Light fire. it up. Campfire or something. Yeah. There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is it. This is exactly what we want. <laughs> yeah. Now we can move it. Uh, okay. So what I'm gonna do. That's crazy. You see, you, you see this. Uh, you see that this is blue. Yeah, it's got like a blue box. Yeah, this is what they call a prefab, prefabricated asset. So you can take anything. So we can take and what what I, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to delete that. So we can make a prefab of our player base component. Mm -hmm. Then you make a copy of it. And whatever change you make to one, it will replicate to everyone. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So okay. we don't need to. So now we can make this thing part of that. Yes. Just, just align it. And then That's exactly it. what it should. Where it should be. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. This uh, thing. This has got a three D transform on it. Oh, I forgot to tell you. No, create something called turn base component and then add that to it. So a new folder called turn base component. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, new, new folder. There you go. Empty bay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, turn okay. base component. Okay. Just want to check. Right. I want to take away. I want to take away this transform. You, you can see that this is a rec transform. Yeah. So this is meant for two D, and this is a this is a three D transform. So okay. the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah the the one works in world space and the other one works in like two D space. So here in your here, in your your canvas space. Yeah. Right. So hear me out. I want I want this to be embedded in your base component. So your base component is there, right? But it but that's embedded in it. So that's I think what you call prefabricated prefabricated uh, component, which is basically you have your own component that you own, and that component just happens to use that external component. How do we do that? It, it works. We know that it's that it has fire in it. <laughs> yeah. Check. Mm -hmm. hmm. Code wise. We're gonna we're gonna have like we have with this uh, with this class. Mm. We're gonna have a turn based component, right? Yes. Yeah. And it's correct. gonna have a. Yep. Exactly like that. That's exactly yeah. what it is. And then if we want to change that, we change this. Class. Yep. The only so difference is. Yep. The only yeah. just remember this. The only difference is that you need to expose two functions on and off. On and off. Yeah. So on makes it go the fire go off. Hides it. That's it. Cool. That's all you know about okay. it, right? Okay, let's do that. Let's this okay. I feel like this series is like enterprise meets gaming. <laughs> yeah. I... <laughs> yeah. And I'm very interested to see it pan out. Yeah, um, oh yeah, me too. I'd love to see what that looks like. You know, like like these days I've started something called the standard universal where I go and say, okay, what every programming language in the world can do to represent the ideas and concepts of the standard. And I'm learning a ton, a ton of different styles and things that different programming languages have. Each one of them has some interesting concepts and superpower, you know? Yeah. I should roll out Kotlin very shortly. We'll see what that, it has some very interesting things. Awesome. Okay. No, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Oh, and that's still there. Uh, okay, so we're gonna use what I'm gonna do is let unit theory compile it. Every time you say it, it that it will. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's cool. Okay. So. <laughs> it too much uh, but all i'm going to do is because this is a particle system is i'm mm -hmm. going to switch it on and off based on those so i'm, I'm literally going to go uh within the game object on and off oh, or i can man. stop and start yep that's it if you can control that programmatically and wrap it up behind that you said it will it will it will like stop burning so that whatever keeps but it will burn out and then start this side like, that's cool. <laughs> okay, so, so we're going to need a particle system. Uh, it's going to put a required on here again. Mm -hmm. So that when you add the script to any game object, it automatically adds um, required components. I don't know why that's not recognizing it. Yeah, I'm using Unity. Type of uh, partic. I just want to get the correct name here. Yeah, this is more particle. Yeah, here we go. Then I'll have private reference to it mm -hmm. because we're going to set that on load. Mm -hmm. What's an M underscore? 
Hungarian. <laughs> now I'm not gonna do that. I'll just think it yeah, out. yeah, yeah. Screw that. Don't do that. We don't want to follow yeah. that pattern. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> so okay, so this is a particle system. Is that what is that what the fire is? That's what the that that fire it it it's it's like a building component that does all that magic for you. Okay. And it's very nice. You can you can play around with it now and make it like our own. Okay. Let's let's um, expose a function for on and a function for off. It has to be local. Like it has to be your own function. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. And then and now particles. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll just have a start as well to gotcha. Uh, or or an awake. Wait, sorry. Awake is better for mm. assignments. Um I don't know why. Intellisense is not working. It's not helping you out today. So get uh, oh, do you why. need to inherit? Do you need to inherit from something? Yeah. yeah. Mono cool. behavior. Mono behavior. Okay. I see I'm learning things. Yeah. <laughs> That's it's technically a component. Yeah, yeah. I think the base, yeah, the base is good. Um, cool. I've been having a look at at the dots the in the new entity thing mm -hmm. that's going to be cool to um it and fat arrow it if you can so in line 17 just take away the scope brother if you can yeah, yeah i can okay does it have on off uh play oh is that what it uh, is yeah let's see I think you can so it takes two parameters with children uh... oh so you can you can you can nest particle systems and then when nice. you start the one it will nice so you can have like different different kinds of uh... nice nice so we'll do this with it. Let's go. And... stop oh. nice <laughs> Even I, I think I saw the with children. Yeah, uh, color. You can set the color, color by speed. Okay, oh, what? A bunch of things, right? A bunch of stuff. And this should also be fat arrowed, right? Yeah, this should be fat arrowed. And do this dot particle systems. It's a, a private class member. So if you do, no, 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 not this guy. Do not this guy. The the particle uh, system uh, itself. So okay. wait, wait, before you do that, before you do that, go back by one, like remove that, this, and then select the particle system, double click, and then do alt shift dot. One more. And then click the lift arrow and type this dot. Mm -hmm. Click lift arrow and just type this dot. Wow. Yeah, keep going, keep going. That's it. Just remove it from no the top one. Way. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll teach you some things. You wizard, some you things. guys are wizards. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I knew about the the old drag. You can like drag, and then but I did not know that. That's that's, cool. that's a beautiful thing about pair programming. You get to share all these yeah. little things yeah. and cultivate it and make it a part of your. <laughs> okay, now what? What do we do now? Do control K E. Yeah. Gone. Cool. Okay, this thing uh, apparently has a particle system. Oh, it already has behavior, some particle already. Uh, there's Should certain you... certain components that this is why mono behavior is not really a good uh inherent mm. because there's oh, so yeah. many members and so many you can you can even go here and ca say camera. Uh -huh. And it will, it will look for that camera on this game object. Try this. Try external particle system instead of ex particle system. Let's call it external okay. particle. There you go. <laughs> uh, could have could have done the other trick as well. Oh, there's so many different ways, man. You know. Yeah. Okay. okay. So now it's happy. Yeah. That that's that's our. 
that's all it's doing basically let's do it let's compile and build <laughs> this looks great by the way <laughs> yeah i love it i just want to change this uh transform quick so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new one okay we'll call it flame because that's what it is nice nice and nice. then all you do is check this nice trick. You say copy component. And it will take that all with all its values and everything as is. No. <laughs> I added. Paste. Uh, you have paste right there. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. There, we go. there you go. There no. Exactly. Nice. You know, this awesome, man. Oh man, this it's is, a huge I, learning curve, but it's, once it's you cool. figure it out, you have it. You can do anything with it. Yeah. Okay, so now we and need now, to get mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, now I need to get this thing. I don't know why I can't. Ah, that's why. See how small it is? Yeah, we're gonna have to make it a little bigger, but I love that you could just move the cursor. Yeah. So you don't have to enter values or anything. That's crazy, man. I just want to check why. I think I, I'll I need to cool. play with this, this scale here. Uh, this size. Size. There you go. There you go. Okay. Let's um, 1.5. Let's times 10. I make this 15. See, yeah. now, now we need to... Okay, we're gonna we're gonna probably gonna need a hundred and a hundred and fifty. Do one hundred and yeah. fifty. That would be it. Yeah, that's actually the right value. Yeah, because the, the difference between world space, like three D, and and the and the and the canvas, for some reason, is a hundred. It's like a hundred. I uh, got you. Yeah, there it is. Maybe someone that watches can give us a reason why. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Okay, so gravity modifier. Now to pull it up, you see there. Nice, nice. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna remove this background. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, yeah, you can actually see the wireframe. It's actually 3D, 3D. Uh, or it's, it's actually like polygons. Are you serious, man? Uh, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. I just wanna, I just wanna, yeah. I don't wanna yeah. see that, that back. Yeah, this little thing around it is annoying. Yeah. When you play, okay. when you just click play, it doesn't show, right? What's that? Like if you click the play button, it doesn't show, right? Yeah, no, that won't show that. This is just an editor. Yeah. What, the orange, the orange? Yeah, the orange, yeah. So I'm just trying to figure out why we don't see it. Why don't we see it now? Odd. There. So I just have to figure this out quick. Sometimes the, see it doesn't show up here. Earlier it did show. Um, let's move check here. Uh, mm -hmm. let's just check this one, check something. Ah, there we go. Okay. So whatever, oh. yeah. So, so I. It's a little. It's a little too big. It's supposed to be smaller, like sitting. Yeah, I, but, I, I think I think we're gonna have to dial it back down now. Yeah. Uh, maybe maybe seventy five and uh, seventy five and one ten or something. Yeah. Oh man, you really you really you really lit Unity on fire. Just <laughs> literally, <laughs> even in blue flame. 
<laughs> let's let's dial this down back to yeah. Check it. Wow. Oh, because of the gravity thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah, this, we can waste so many hours with this man. <laughs> That's okay. That's it's all progress. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this turn shouldn't shouldn't this be one thing though, or should this? No, because there is there is the player and there's the turn, and then in the up component, which is called player turn, they're gonna merge together. Okay, see, and see that that up component will have reference to both these. Yes. So it will it will stop the one and start the other one. And yes. Both. Okay. So. What so I'm gonna make it a bit better. What you want it to, to like be the width of this thing, but yeah. not as high. Yeah, exactly. So it's just almost like a triangle. You know, you know what, you know what it should like. It, it should look like the fire that's in an in a in an oven. You know, like it's just the fire just covering up the whole surface from the top. So uh, a little wider, okay. but a lot shorter. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> Do that let's do that i don't want it i don't want to change the size this is the size of the particles yeah we yeah. want the width is there the a width? width so the distribution will be okay. shape uh, i just want to check here so it's a box it's a volume do you have to have like a super powerful PC to run Unity stuff? Mm, depends, I guess. Depends on how much stuff you're putting in. Yeah. Yeah, I th I think if you if you just have like a work laptop or whatnot, like a weak laptop, you will. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Where's, where's the width on this thing? Uh, texture velocity. The shape is a box. The shape, yeah, the shape is a box. Yeah, but I should be able to change. Randomize direction, randomize position. What does this do? Nothing. Huh. That's the thing with the stuff you guys play around with. It. Yeah, yeah. Um, H, 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 wait. What does that mean? <laughs> so it will, it will, it will spawn from a, from an H instead of like a volume. Okay. I think okay. at the moment it's, it's like in the volume, but I think this volume is very small. That's why we don't see it. Okay. There we go. See how it's. Nice. Broadening. Nice. <laughs> That's exactly it. There you go. Yeah, there you stop go. right there. Stop right there. <laughs> That's exactly it. Up in flames. <laughs> Fire! <laughs> it's like it's like a Stone Age playing. You know, <laughs> yeah. You know. I'm fire. So now, now I think we need to make it a little bit thinner, like like not too much flames, just a little, like yeah. half of this. Yeah, I'm gonna bring the gravity down. Gravity modifier. Sorry, that's that's. that's oh yeah, yeah, it's working. Look. There we go. Yeah. That's it. That's it right there. It's a bit like. So why why the one. edges are more focused, but the middle is kind of. Yeah, I don't know why. Let's try it. There. there. <laughs> I think the edges was it was looking at the yep. side edges. What's what's the other part? Volume and edge and what? And shell? And what's shell? shell? I don't what's know shell? Idea. That's weird. Okay, uh, this is it, my friend. Look at this. This is it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> cool. 
can let's change the color. Yeah, let's make what a red or something or yellow or something. I think we can do gradients. No. Random between two colors, random between two gradients. Let's see. So we can have blue and red gradients and, and, and every particle that spawn will be a random between yeah. I think. What do you think? This is this is all you. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, let's... You know, you know what we can do when the game gets a little bit closer to the end. We're gonna be able to increase the heat, like yeah. the heat of the game. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. You can even make the flame bigger. Yeah. <laughs> so this okay. Is be cool, man. Okay, so top is top is your alpha. Uh, bottom is the color and separate this. So, what are we? What? What? What's the? What's the color let's, of? Let's let's go red. Nice. Okay. Red so do and yellow, yellow. Yellow and red. See what happens. Okay. Let's make pure yellow. Uh, I think if you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Okay. Oh, you wait. You know what it's doing? What? It's alternating. It's alternating the particles. I, I yeah. think there might be a better way. Yeah, you see, it's start color. Yeah. So, start color. Okay, wait, before we do that, there's, there's a thing you can do to change color over lifetime. There you go. So this is now, this is actually where we want to do it. Let's see. So this is that old, the old one. Uh -huh. Let's make this red. Nice. Starting to look a lot more like fire. <laughs> yeah. Okay. See the red is going up more now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. And now we're gonna make this one yellow with it. Uh, nice. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's perfect. It's and even it's yeah. smoke and everything. <laughs> yeah, this is good. This is good. Oh, okay, wait, wait. I think this thing. It changes over life, so it will start there, mm -hmm. and then gradually change over lifetime. So let's 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 control that a bit better. I think. Let, let me just try something quick. I just wanna, because fire. If you think about it, fire usually starts blue, or, or how does it go? Blue, red, yellow. Yeah. It's like a. a so let's create that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's make this blue, like proper. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> and then in the middle, we're going to put yellow. Mm hmm. And then red at the end. Man, there's so much control in this. I can't believe, like, I see why people are obsessed with game development. Like, yes. it's, it's, it's forever going. It's it, it's bringing the machine to life. Basically, you're not moving yeah. data around. You're 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 an artist, you know. Yeah. I'm trying to play with this stuff a bit. Yeah, it's it's not the perfect playing. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's interesting. Okay. We we can we can improve it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll let you kind of, you know, just look at a real fire and look what it looks like. But if you mm -hmm. play this, like if you click play, what's it look like? Okay. Here we go. Moment of truth. Yeah. I think it will. Nice. Yeah. That's what Zoom a little, Adrian. Zoom on it a little. Okay, I can't in the game view. I can't. Well, I can.
Yeah, I feel I know, it's, cool. it's it's on the yeah, it's on the. Oh, I see, I see. Uh, okay. Uh, oh wow. I don't know why it's not. So if you just scroll, do you see scale at the top? What does it do? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Blurs a bit though, and it it's not. I don't know how to. Yeah, I just wanted to see like, oh, this looks great, dude. This is, we just need to kind of, I mean, take this as homework, right? Like make it look like actual fire coming out because okay. it's supposed to be okay. like uh, medieval times kind of, you know. Yeah, okay. And we can even have like a crackling sound. <laughs> that, that I can't wait to see how you do yeah. that. Yeah. So that's the I'll, game. I'll, I'll record it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Like, <laughs> just we make like our like own paper. <laughs> hey, yeah, I, have, we make our I have a question mm. for you. This asset store that you were talking about does it also have voices? Like, in addition to, does it have sounds and stuff? It should, yeah. Nice. Yes. Nice. Yes. Oh, the, oh, you're not kidding. Audio. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. See audio. Yeah, ambient nice. sound, music. Nice. And there's so much free stuff, man. You can literally, you can get away with creating. Yep. Oh, yep. okay. If you, you can create an entire an entire game for free. Yeah. Okay. Now the last thing, just we want to do here is to enable this on off. Yeah. So how do yeah. we expose this yeah. capability on this? Okay, so we're gonna have a. Here we add our what's. So we so now mm -hmm. we need that other component. Let's see. That references it. So okay. what do we call it? Where do we put it? Oh, so so your do you see that? So the turn base component. Let's put it in the delete me component again. Like let's consider okay. that delete for so now. Just a test with, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So again, serialized field, turn base. Let's see what happens. It's gonna be fine. No. Nice, nice. Turn base. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna turn the. It's like a play automatically, checkbox on this thing. Nice. We 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 wanna manage that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh. Is it that? Is it going to give us the option on and off? Shit. Pre war. Uh, <clears throat> no, it should loop because it should. Yeah. Do you, do you have to expose like a property or something for it? If you, once you have the, this as a reference, you should yeah. be able to. Yeah. Okay, I'll 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 see where where that's done. Okay. I'm gonna waste too much time. No worries. So so just the idea of like this delete me component that you have, it should be able to take in two parameters. One will be the name of the player, and one whether turn on and off, right? So let me, I'll take the screen back from you here, Etienne, real quick. Okay. So so visualize this with me. Your, that delete me component eventually is going to turn into what we call player turn component, right? So you have these two guys sitting like this. So this is, this is the player. This is player. And this is turn. Right? And then sitting here is the player turn. Hmm. What does this guy take as input parameters? It takes two things, right? It takes 
input as it takes the input as player name and takes an input as turn on or off right why is that because this whole thing becomes the representative an instance representative of the player in the game right okay. so you're gonna have two of these right each one of them represents a player and the management is going and saying okay for this go ahead send the name here and send the other player name here it goes and talks to the api the api comes back whose turn is it right and then it goes and hits this guy say okay set this up with this name set this up with this name on off on off like that see how this is going to work uh i see yeah okay so so we we could we could explore this idea like next time but two things for you right the flames just make them super realistic i know you can mm -hmm. do this you know this is easy yeah, yeah. and then and then just explore the idea of creating like so so your base components are exposing capabilities and these capabilities are wrapped behind the component itself the player turn mm -hmm. and now the player turn now is part of a bigger mm -hmm. system right that's basically cool. alternating yeah. right so every time a player makes a move it's sending an api signal once the api signal completes now you know which turn is it so you switch to the other one and then the flames go on top of the right name so turn off on on off and so on and so forth it's really that straightforward cool. what do you think about yeah. that yeah no i think that i think that can work my man this is yeah, this is cool. amazing stuff i'm looking at the like this is where things gets really exciting just to look at how how the system is working and running uh i guess one big thing you know for me personally out of this is to just see you know these assets you know you don't even have to go and reinvent the wheel you know i i can only imagine like how much work people put into creating just a tool or an asset like this and give you mm -hmm. all they give you all the properties and capabilities so you can do whatever you want with it right and it's for free that's, that's yeah. crazy right yeah. all right any last remarks from you we're almost at time anything from your side yeah no i think i think I think it's a good idea. Like I, I will, yeah, I will look at that stuff. Uh -huh. um, it's not really much to add. So it's, <laughs> so yeah. I, I mean, like I've, I've been used to working in a certain way, and, and this is what I wanted to see. I wanted to see how do we, how do we work in it in a standardized way? Yeah. You know, obviously this is, you know, a lot of people that are familiar with Unity won't necessarily they they won't necessarily look at this and say oh this might be the best but i mean oh yeah People, this is I mean, what i want to see what well, i want to see this actually being a great way because if yeah. you can teach this to someone they can they can exactly anyone that knows the standard can actually now work they can, in exactly around unit, yeah. this is exactly what i've been doing by the way just it expands beyond writing software like i'm using these exact same concepts standardization into team management you know business management and stuff like that like you know when i talk to okay. you know engineers and i say i'm investing in your growth i basically teach the engineers you know how to write proper code and then teach them how to design you know systems and then teach them how to interface with customers so it goes way beyond, mm -hmm. you know, just simple systems, right? It's just the same mm -hmm. theory, try nature theory, and we're applying to a bunch of different yeah. things and we're seeing how much it stands, right? But um, anyway, you know, take a look at the, you know, the options, by the way, just, just for the people watching, you know, this is, there's no um, rehearsal for this. Like, you know, Etienne mm -hmm. had absolutely no idea that yeah. this is what I'm going to be asking him to do today. So. If, in case you're wondering you know oh all these as we're literally doing this live no editing nothing you know just to show you how you know professional engineers you know game development you know and systems like this work and you know if anything just like i said to you out of this session the 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 funny thing that's just entertaining to see it's like enterprise systems meet gaming and then put these together and then see what what happens what comes from from the other side yeah. um Anyway, Etienne, thank you so very much. I appreciate your time and effort. Oh, thank you. To hang out with you, brother. And sorry for bailing on <laughs> you. I bailed on you once now. So oh, now no. you can oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, I just have I, to make up for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I look forward to hanging out with you again next week. 
you know, and of course, for the people watching, if you're super excited about, you know, Unity and writing proper systems, you know, I'm assuming like outside of this, like I am now starting to just take in and see what what the state of game development is and how can we bring standardization simplification to it? Because that's the, the real power of the standard is to make it simple. Anybody could just jump in and start writing code, right? Um, and if you haven't heard, there's this thing that I'm doing called the standard universal where I go and say, let me try the standard on multiple things, different programming languages, systems, natural and, and, and artificial and all that and see what, what comes from the other side. So way to examine our theories and see if we can actually find a good system that people can agree on and can work with without introducing any confusion or, or conflicts. Uh, and of course, you know, as usual, you know, super props, high props for my brother Etienne here and for the people watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or compliments to the genius that we have here, right right here, uh, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much, Etienne. I appreciate you, brother. Take care. Have a good day. <laughs>